Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, I'm Mick from Metal Gods TV. I'm here at Bloodstock with Impaled Existence. Yeah, that right? That's right. That's oh, right. Great stuff. I mean, uh, what can you tell people about about your your band? I mean, obviously, yeah. well, a lot of people have uh, heard of you. We're a five-piece progressive death metal band. Uh, we come from the coast area of North Wales. Um, we been going now for probably what seven years or so. Yeah, seven like years. I mean, the lineup's changed a few times, but I mean, we've been with this lineup now for what about two years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, like so yeah, I've been going strong since then, really. Um, progressive death, influenced by the likes of After the Burial, Vale of Maya, uh, Whitechapel, um, and a little bit of In Flames as well. Are things going all right? I mean, have you toured with some decent bands at the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, uh, you know, we played the likes of Exodus. Uh, we won the Eval competition uh, oh, yeah. in Metal Hammer Lake. We actually supported them down in Rock City. I mean, that personally for me was amazing because I saw Soulfly there about, well, seven or eight years ago. And it's quite mad to be playing yeah. it, you know, so it's a bit like, but it's, you know, set back in it, like, so, you know, we really enjoyed everything what we're getting at the moment. You know, it's really cool. Yeah, like. yeah. I mean, we played with Decapitated, Cataclysm. We yeah. played with Man Must Die uh, about three times, yeah. is it? Uh, so, yeah, we you know, we played with some pretty cool bands, to be fair. And how did the Bloodstock thing come about? Yeah, well, basically, uh, it's uh, Metal's Masters Heat in uh, Wrexham. Uh, literally, it's been a tough competition all the way through. You know, I mean, it's, it's stacked at the moment in North Wales with bands, yeah. like, you know, a lot of bands coming through. Uh, the first heat was really good. Uh, and then the final itself, you know, we were blown away by it, to be, to be honest. I was going to Simon going, is this real or something like that, you know what I mean? But um, it was really cool, you know, we really enjoyed it. Uh, the support what we're getting from everyone at the moment is just outstanding, like, you know what I mean? So it keeps us going, so that's great, like, you know. Can you recommend it to other bands join, you know, trying to go for the metal for the masses thing? Yeah, personally, I think. I mean, like I've actually quoted already, saying it, it's similar to the FA Cup. You know, I mean, it gives yeah. the chance for the smaller bands to kind of give the big boys a run for the money. You know what I mean? And there is a lot of music out there at the moment. You know, what I mean, it's really kicking off in the local scene all over the place, not just North Wales. So I think this. Uh, more festivals should use this as like some sort of breeding ground and kind of do it more personally, you know what I mean? At the so, end of the day, you'd be daft not to do it. Because yeah. it's an opportunity to play a festival, why would you not want to do it, exactly. pretty much? Well, the thing is, I mean, it can be a stepping stone. I mean, I know um, Evil Scarecrow, they sort yeah. of won it before, played the main stage, and then this year they're back. So yeah. it's, it's, it's just a good stepping stone. It's just great. You know, I mean, that's all the staff as well at Bloodstock, you know, I mean, they're really down to earth people. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been to festivals before just being a fan, and you do get kind of pushed around a lot, you know what I mean? But it just seems like they're just grafters you know proper honest people like you know what i mean you you come to it like you know what i mean so it's really cool yeah, it's because they're all in they're all but, but most of them are in bands themselves yeah, yeah, and they exactly. know what it's like right? it's, so that's exactly what it is like so you know it's great so it's like a massive family so to speak you yeah. know what i mean especially at a festival like this when you've got so many different types of metal you don't especially have to be a particular type of death metal or power metal or you know thrash metal you could be pretty much anything and still stand a good chance so it's the only, well, as they say, the only true English metal festival, well, the world's metal festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. yeah. Well, that's it. And I mean, it's like, you know, Europe itself as well. I mean, there's so many bands coming over. And I like that there's a few bands from Norway and stuff who are playing on the uh, new bus yeah. stage as well, which is really ace, you know what I mean? And it's, it's good. It's just a hell of a good thing what's going on in today's metal. You know yeah. what I mean? So I'm really stoked to be a part of it. And is there any band that sort of you, you dying to see this weekend? Uh, Morbid Angel for me personally, because uh, years ago I used to play uh, Summer Redemption uh, with a few mates in college, so it would just be unbelievable to, to see them do it, like, you know, so uh, obviously uh, Exodus as well, that'd be, that'd be sweet as well. Like Probably for me, I'd say probably out the gates. When I first got into metal, I was kind of big into my look like death. Um, so and we caught them in 2008 when they played here as well, and they just blew me away, so it'd be really good to see them again. And what's next on the agenda from Bloodstock? I mean, where can people catch after this? Yeah, well, uh, basically, we've got an EP which is going to be coming out soon. Um, we're going to release the date after Bloodstock, um, so that's going to be coming through. We've got a few festivals coming up, haven't we? Like? Yeah, well, the, the date of the EP release is uh, November 21st, yeah. uh, so we'll get that out there, so that's a date to remember. Uh, we've got a couple of little kind of smaller festivals, kind of local ones. There's one in uh, near Warrington called Fidstock, uh, which... If, to be fair, we've not heard of it before, but it's a kind of weekend thing, so it's camping again. So, I mean, oh, we've got like, a Booze Fest as well. Uh. Booze Fusion Festival. Yeah, in that's, the it's like a DIY festival, basically, yeah. you know. So, really looking forward to that as yeah. well. It's going to be a hell of a trip. Like, yeah, definitely. It's hard to keep up with the festivals at the moment. There seems to be so many different ones springing up. I think everybody's trying to get on the bandwagon. Well, it's it good. Right? I mean, it's like obviously there's a few which kind of fall by the wayside a little bit, but a few are really good. I like the kind of community spirit, similar to like how this is in a way. Like, you know, what I mean, it's like an independent yeah. festival. It's much more DIY yeah, and stuff working like together that. Together yeah, to yeah, the same yeah. goal, really. So. That's it, like. Right, and have you got a final message for the guys out there who are watching this? 
Yeah, just basically uh, come to uh, Facebook, uh, www, uh, facebook.com forward slash Impale Resistance. Uh, we've got uh, tracks on there. You know, we speak to, to yeah. the fans and stuff like that. <laughs> we will spam your wall probably more than you spam our wall. Like. But uh, yeah, just at least you come to the shows and just, you know, come to us, you know, have a yeah, laugh definitely. and uh, get in the pit and mess each other up in a nice way. Keep an eye out for the EP as well, November yeah, yeah. 21st. Great stuff. Yeah. Thanks cool. a lot, guys. Nice week. Thanks a lot, Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yep. Thanks, May God have mercy on your soul.